So I think we are ready uh, to make the big change and I'm extremely happy to have been your chairperson today and I'm uh, also happy now to uh, give the floor to Shushan that will lead us through the uh, last part of the program. And as my last comment, thank you very much to Onko Daily. I think that you give us this platform to discuss. It is of such a huge importance. So thank you all of you and have a beautiful day, morning and night. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Pende. You did the, the chairing of the sessions perfectly. And thank you so much for being with us uh, today. And uh, I would like to uh, ask our speakers to still uh, remain because at the end we will have the discussion. And now I will introduce our last speaker, uh, Dr. Anna Avake from Armenia. Uh, she is the head of Karina Cancer Predisposition Clinic, pediatric oncologist, hematologist at Pediatric Cancer and Blood Disorder Center of Armenia, Yulian Hematology and Oncology Center. So Dr. Anna, the floor is yours. Thank you for being with us. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you, Shushan, for a nice presentation. So hi, everyone. Thank you for the Onco Daily for uh, initiating this very important uh, for to talk about uh, this important topic. So uh, I'm going, uh, I'm glad to uh, share uh, Armini's journey within the Act for Children initiative, which is a global global move with a deeply local impact. Uh, I'm going to share uh, and uh, we had, uh, where uh, Bert was taken uh, by our team and by all our uh, all the supporting companies that um, make this uh, program possible. So uh, per year we have around 100 to 120 new uh, pediatric uh, cancer cases. Since 2019, all uh, cases or um, of uh, oncology and hematology was centralized at pediatric cancer and blood disorder centers, and uh, being uh, and representing a uh, low and middle income country uh, for us uh, see, uh, uh, yet uh, access to high cost me medications remains limited although um, and um, uh, still uh, the most part of the uh, medications medicines is covered by NGOs uh, by, by the charitable foundation and also, uh, as an example, the pegasperginis was previously available for our country, and uh, it, it was, uh, however, there was uh, concerns. So, yeah, uh, as, as I mentioned, uh, pegasperginis was available uh, in our country and for our patients. However, uh, there were concerns about the quality and compared to the CRV, the pegasperginis provided with the CR by the CRV company, of course, there there is more trust to the to the quality of the uh, CRV of the pegasperginis of CRV company. And then with and when it comes to uh, vinatumumab and other uh, a highly uh, ha a highly expensive uh, medications. Uh, we still have to prioritize patients uh, who has the high risk of the relapse. The patients who has um, who has uh, severe toxicities, and uh, so it is. Uh, so it, and because it is the uh, high financial burden to charitable foundation, so uh, not all the patients have the access to the uh, newly and uh, more effective medications and immunotherapy. And uh, before moving, uh, before starting and joining uh, the uh, Act for Children uh, initiative, we did the pre uh, program assessment to uh, identify the potential causes of treatment failure, uh, which was guided uh, and uh, supervised by, by um, Professor Scott Howard. And together we identified all the uh, potential causes for the of the toxic death, treatment abandonment, uh, and uh, uh, relapse and uh, remission, and identified that uh, Act for Children program is uh, 
uh, perfectly fits all all the caps that exist uh, in in our setting, and um, which of course. Um, Manet previously uh, detailed the Up for Children program. However, I would like to emphasize again the program um, objectives, which are improve access to essential cancer medications, support national strategies to reduce treatment abandonment and uh, inequity, implement, implement multi-center studies, uh, strengthen the clinical and research workforce. Uh, also, the one of the important, most important part was the capacity building, uh, enhancing training and uh, onboarding. Also, the uh, um, strengthening the uh, the capacity by provision of uh, different equi equipment, uh, establishment of registry-based researches and data quality, and of course foster the uh, cross-country collaboration. And uh, so in uh, October 2024, Armenia joined the up for Children Initiative, uh, with, uh, represent, which was represented by our center, Ural Hematology and Oncology Center, and also the research and the organization, organizational work was also supported by uh, Immune Oncology Research Institute. So uh, I would like to share what achievements we have by this moment. Uh, and in uh, January 2025, uh, CRV and Resonance team uh, visited our hospital for them, for uh, many uh, having many goals. Uh, first of all, to present the uh, project to uh, our team and uh, also to conduct a site assessment to identify gaps and prioritize needs for improving diagnostic and capacity building, conducting, uh, conducted different um, uh, trainings for our team, and uh, by and the, what, what is the most important achievement uh, of this project by this time is uh, having uh, enabling use of pegasperginase, high quality pegasperginase by, uh, produced by CRV company for uh, our children and adolescents with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Also, um, some uh, multi center uh, studies were, were uh, also, have been also. Uh, implement. Uh, we have already launched a multi-center retrospective cohort study on treatment failure and toxicity in low and middle income, uh, income countries. And at this moment, uh, again, lead and supervised and by uh, Professor Scott Howard, uh, prospective uh, treatment protocol for acute lymphoblastic leukemia is in development stage. Uh, which is also was very important for the um, uh, for provide for uh, conducting high quality research and uh, having uh, and an uh, international registry. Uh, we had uh, we had recruited a data manager who support uh, this uh, whole workflow. And as I mentioned uh, in the uh, in one of uh, in our pre program assessment, one of uh, important uh, points was uh, uh, treatment abandonment, and I should mention the uh, the main cause of treatment abandonment was not uh, was, uh, that uh, some families still uh, choose to get their treatment abroad. So in the, in this situation, uh, patient navigator. Uh, not only for the treatment abandonment, but also for supporting families in all stages of the treatment, uh, their role is uh, really important. And uh, so at this moment, um, we also started uh, the establishment of the uh, international registry. And uh, so, uh, I, I could say that many achievements also, many goals has already achieved, but uh, the vision ahead is expanding access to essential cancer medications. And um, uh, Armenia also recently in, in December 2024 was uh, 
accept became the focus country for the global platform for access to childhood cancer medicines and we hope that uh, through this um, uh, through the through that program uh, armenia will uh, get uh, for access to other um, in, uh, medications as dr scott already mentioned uh, we will get um, the border access to the medications like vina to mom up also we have we uh, as i mentioned we uh, after the site assessment we have uh, several uh, projects and ideas and uh, strategies how to enhance uh, infrastructure to support diagnostic uh, data uh, data system and coordinated care uh, as uh, as a uh, as uh, one of um, also most important goals is the increased participation in multi-center studies which are already uh, in process but also some of them uh, are uh, are in process of development and uh, also we we aiming strengthen national strategies to treatment abandonment uh, without travel navigation and support and to enhance registry system for real-time data use in national planning and policy. Uh, and uh, by this slide, I would uh, I would like to uh, use this opportunity to express our gratitude to all the companies that are uh, involved in in this initiative uh, and support uh, um, our team. Uh, for helping us building a more uh, equitable future for um, children with cancer. Thank you so much, Anna, for sharing uh, the experience in Armenia uh, so greatly. Mm -hmm.